I met, uh, I met James and the GMG company years ago, I think back in 2012 or 2013, and right away I could really tell the enthusiasm, the energy that his company had and the vision that he had to, uh, to bring it forward was something that was really contagious with me. Later on when I was able to come and work with GMG, it was really a big honor because I shared James's vision for the company. I've come to really appreciate what he brings to the track and every time I come back, there's something new in the infrastructure. There's some another new piece of equipment. I write a very detailed report at the end of every weekend and send it in and I give suggestions and I'm always impressed with how many of them are picked up and applied. It's encouraging to be able to contribute to something like this and see it grow. There's a lot of loyalty and a lot of camaraderie and uh, these are the things I appreciate because this is a tough sport. It's demanding. You come out every day with the idea that maybe you could win and you can't always win. You have to, you know, you have to apply yourself and focus. And if you do a really good job and you have the right kind of day, it can come to you. We've got a couple races under our belt already with the uh, race win here in the GT3 category. Team owner James Safron is co-driving with Jerome Bleekemolen. Uh, took P1 in their category in the Pro Am. And then Alex Welch and newcomer Michael McGrath in the Audi R8 LMS GT4 category, P2 today. So we're off to a really great start for 2020 and we've got a lot of really great things in store. We have a packed field, not only amongst the grid, but our own field within GMG. We have five cars this weekend. So really excited to bring 25 crew members, a lot of support. We just finished one day of racing and the GT3R, we finished first in Pro-Am and second overall. So we had a great result and we still have a lot more racing to go in both the GT4 Sprint and GT4 Sprint X. What's exciting about this year is we also have the new GT Sports Club, which also encompasses the GT2 class. So we're excited to have new customers, Mike Lefebvre and Stu Frederick come on board as well as Steven Lawler and then Jason Bell tripling up with his GT2 RS Club Sport Porsche in the GT Sports Club class. So at GMG Racing, we're gonna have a busy year. We're really excited. This is what we love to do. We love to cultivate and develop drivers, whether they're young, up and coming professionals, or gentlemen drivers looking to create a craft within the motorsport industry and become top level amateur drivers to compete amongst their peers. So, for us at GMG Racing, we're excited because this is what we do. We have the infrastructure, we have the equipment, we have the cars, we have the semis, we have the engineers, the driver coaches. It allows us to build a really first class program to help the driver achieve their goals of either club-based system, a pro-am based system, or even go up to the ranks of the top SRO races around the world, whether it's Dubai, Spa, or the eight-hour intercontinental race at, at Indy this year. I've been racing in this series for 25 years and I hope to do this for many, many years to come. And the best part is we're doing it with great customers and clients that love the racing as much as I do. So here's to a great 2020.